It's your boy, J.O. Another episode of Word of J.O. Got a good show for y'all today. Hit your like, subscribe, turn on your notification. Click the all button. We'll be right back. back yo we do man hey yo i can't say it enough i appreciate y'all man i appreciate y'all coming out checking on your mans man i want to express my gratitude you know what i'm saying but we're gonna jump right into this you know what i'm saying we ain't gonna play with it uh your man lebron man you know i'm on his head all the time pause you know, you know, I got to go upside his head all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Just say, I don't care if I win. As long as I drop buckets. Just say it. There's people still looking at you like you that guy you was. The facilitator. They thinking you that. And you ain't on that. So I ain't on that, man. And, you know, you passed Carl Malone. We knew you was better than Carl Malone 10 years ago. 15 years, 10 years ago. We knew you was better than Carl Malone. Passing that number make you more better? Nah. You just naturally better. Passed Mike a long time ago. And they still ain't saying you better. So you got to get one more accolade, one more this, one more that. Instead of making the quality of basketball better, you're chasing personal accolades, I mean, personal achievements, man. And that's, that's why I ain't never rock with you, because you some doodle, straight up, personal. Everything is personal with you, man. LeBron James, I'm talking to you. Now, anyway, uh, you know, I was gonna tell you, I to tell you about I'll be watching the YouTube videos, man. It's you know, uh I saw one today caught my attention, uh Ten Toes Down TV. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ten Toes Down TV. I'm a subscriber, you know what I'm saying? Uh it was a great show. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I did something like that with my homegirl Dee Dee, but you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that. You know what I mean? I like uh I like when you put normal people, not actors, not personalities, none of that. It's a regular person that's doing making moves in the world. A sister that look like us. You know what I'm saying? To let them see that these uh, jobs and uh, lines of career career uh, choice, I mean, opportunities apply to us too. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Good show. Uh, her name was uh, Money Lynn. Money Lynn, publicist, author, wrote books, all that. Yeah, Money Lynn. 
prestigious black woman, you know what I'm saying? She just, she look like us, she act like us, she talk like us, you know what I'm saying? But she talk like, she need to talk. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? It's so, it's dualities, man. You, you do that lame stuff. I don't even like talking about it, that negativity or whatever. Now that, I was watching Hassan Campbell, and I remember, I remember hearing him say, the dirty section of YouTube. That is the dirty section of YouTube. If you talking about all that, and you doing that clubhouse, and you on that, and all that, and you talking crazy about gang affiliation, and shooting and killing, and murders, and blah, 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 whole bunch of firecracker shit. If you over there doing that, then you in a dirty section. A YouTube. If you doing that, all that crazy stuff, and I leave you, and you know what I'm saying. No, no disrespect to Hassan Campbell, whatever your lane is, your lane is. You a pioneer in this right here. I'm gonna give you that. You a pioneer in this right here. You, you wanted to, you know, be a prop, but. That is the dirty sex in the YouTube. I don't care how much money you can pull out on this camera. I don't care about what you got on. I don't care about none of that. What you look like, what your hairline like. It's all fun and games. But you got to live with what you got to live with. And everybody human. So I rock with everybody. As long as you are respectable. Respect is given. You know what I'm saying? You give it, I give it. Uh, yeah. Ten toes down, good show, man. I left a little comment on there. You respond, you respond quick. I rock with Ten Toes Down TV. Y'all go check them out, man. Uh, I got a, something else I was wanting to talk about, man. Uh, my man, Kanye West. Y'all know that's my guy, man. I mean, before the money. Talent. He's a descendant of the big head scientist. Yeah. And he's a genius. I rock with him and his craft and what he do. I mean, his business with his wife, ain't got nothing to do with that. It's very public. I don't like that. And, uh, dude, a little comedian dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm not familiar with his name. Dude, we on Saturday Night Live. Okay, this is what it is. Dude, the, the comedian dude, I don't know his name. I'm not going to act like I know his name. Uh, the comedian dude who Kim rocking with right now going to be at the at the uh, Grammy Awards. You know what I'm saying? And so they took Kanye off of the ticket. Nah, we ain't rocking, you know. We don't want to do a bunch of performance at the Grammys, no. Because we don't want that back and forth. It's basically why they canceled his thing, Kanye's. They feel like he's instigating it. And he's the aggressor. So they want to keep him out the building. And this is what I'm saying, okay? And... I don't watch the Grammys. I don't watch it. It won't change Kanye, my view of Kanye, because he ain't on the Grammys. Uh, some giving out trophies. I ain't even want to go to my basketball ceremony and get trophies. What is it for? You got 
you know, the experience and you did that and you achieved whatever goals you achieved. I don't need nobody to validate that for me. So what is since it's the Grammys? So I'd brush that off. You know what I mean? Do something big. You know, something real big to draw everybody's attention away from the Grammys. Is what I would do if I had the means, like Kanye. But that's neither here nor there. I don't have it, so I will not be doing that. Uh, yeah, we still, they, uh, authorities is trying to demand to see Aaron Jackson. I mean, not Aaron Jackson, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, basketball player. Mrs. Uh, Griner, Brittany Griner, I'm sorry. Uh, Brittany Griner, we waiting to see uh, if we communicate with her. I'm pulling for her for real though. Imagine that. If he been in the jail before, imagine being in jail. Y'all don't even like being in jail here. And it's don't nobody like being in jail. Jail here is some, it's some, it's the worst treatment. I'm talking about that's terrible treatment. Imagine being over there in Russia with the present situation going on. You know what I'm saying? And then you stranded over there. They putting your date off. And you don't know what's going on. So I feel for her because I've been in a somewhat similar situation, but not abroad. So, to, uh, bring uh, Brittany Griner home, man. Bring her here. Uh, still working on this music, y'all. Uh, me and my man, Fresh. Uh, my homeboy, Fresh. I think I did an interview with him. He hit me up, man. Said, man, I want to shoot this movie, man. I want to shoot this movie. He been hitting me up. I kind of delayed just to see how much drive he had behind it. If he really wanted to do it, you know what I'm saying? Somebody say something, he just conversating. But uh, he really avid about it. So this weekend coming up, you know, I had to work this weekend. Like when I get done here, I'm going to work. So, uh. Next weekend, I'm going to start shooting this movie. I don't even know the name of it. But I'm going to tell you like this. I'm not going to shoot no trash. So if it ain't put together, I'm going to put it together. I might co-direct, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Because not, I'm not shooting no garbage. You know what I'm saying? So look out for that project. I'm going to see if you want to do a little deal when you put it out here. Put the movie out. I'm making moves, y'all. Just keep watching. When I get on, I'm going to forgive y'all, man. I'm good now. But when I hit, I'm going to forgive y'all, man. I'm going to still rock with y'all. To y'all that don't rock with me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. I got some moves, Megan. Uh, Hollered at the beat, man. They were cooking up something for me. I need a certain kind of sound. You know what I mean? I'm taking a song off and putting another song on the album. But I need a certain kind of sound. They gotta be different. You know what I'm saying? Different sound. Can't keep giving y'all the same regurgitated stuff. Y'all take the same regurgitated stuff over and over. I hate it. Nobody's different. Now I'm not talking about artists. I'm talking about fans. <laughs> Y'all listen to the same music all the time. No difference. It's got to be doing certain things or I don't like that. Because it's different. Like, the different people stand out to me. Like, people like Andre 3000 stand out. It was different. Uh...
the weekend. It's different. See what I'm saying? It's got to have some art to it, man. Like Kendrick Lamar when he first came out was different. He's still different, but I'm just saying that kind of, it's got to be different. It can't be the same. Like, I can't rap like Jay-Z. I can't rap like, you know, Coogee Rap. I can't rap like Rakim. Actually, I could probably because that's the originator, man. It all goes back to, you know, everybody get a little something from Rakim, man. But uh, I can't rap like Kane. I gotta rap like me. But nowadays, everybody rap the same. You can do it, he can do it. It's like three different styles. You got that West Coast, you know, where they real hard and they, um, um. then you got that Detroit little vibe. Then you got this Atlanta vibe. New York kind of blended in all of that, I'm trying to sound. New York don't sound like New York no more. I be I don't even be knowing these dudes be from New York because they sound so different. Except you know, some of the drill rappers, you know, Pop Smoke was different. He was different. You know what I'm saying? I start vibing on him close to the. You know, I really caught on close to the end before he went before he passed. You know what I mean? I was hearing this stuff and. You get the vibe into it, but you don't even really, man, what the hell is he talking about? You know what I'm saying? Until I really start saying that he had versatility. He could change that stuff up, and he really could spit. So, uh, let's be different, man. Be you. I'm going to be me all the time. And me and you are not the same. Just be you, man. Be different. Another thing I want to talk, tell y'all, man. Uh, get your ass out the street. 